marijuana was essentially a part of your identity to some degree or another. You, you know what I oh, mean? For sure. So, so that's something we cling on to. And, and like, I think with dieting too, it's like, well, I, I'll do keto and I'm just going to do keto until, you know, and then there are people who like take on the identity of a keto person. Like I'm just never going to eat bread for the rest of my life. And, and right. I go, okay. But I think that many people, I haven't seen anyone just do keto get to the point where they're happy with their body and done for a long time and mm -hmm. never have to do anything else. And most of the people I see who are like super keto advocates started out fairly lean, you know? And yeah. so I, I, that to me doesn't make sense for massive weight loss. Um, but like this idea of keto as a diet, it's like, I'm just not going to eat bread, but I'm not going to really mess with any of my other habits and compulsions and impulses. You know, I have an impulse. Now I'm eating, you know, McDonald's or 7-Eleven hot dogs without the bun. Um, right. You know, I, I, I think it, it does require like a really a giving up of some portion of who we think we are. hundred percent. Yeah. To make a change like you're talking about. Yeah. And I think, I think you're spot on there. I think that a lot of this is tied to identity and people don't want to give up the part of themselves that they're so accustomed to being. And so I can totally relate to that. And I know people, unfortunately, I know people that wear the, wear the cape of like the funny fat guy, even though they always complain about how miserable they are. They always complain about how, you know, depressed they are, how unhappy they are with themselves. And, you know, they don't like looking in the mirror and yet they run around like parading that they're the, they're, they're the fat guy. It's like, you don't have to do that. You don't have to, you don't have to wear that cape just because you've always been that. And, you know, I think that if you want, if you want to, uh, if you want to make certain changes, you do have to give up a part of yourself because what, who are you really, but the, the result of your actions, you know, you are the amalgamation of everything that you do on a daily basis. And so by default, by, by giving up at certain actions, you are giving up a piece of yourself and you have to be willing to let go of that. And if you're not, then you're not going to change. If you try to cling on to, you know, the funny fat guy shtick and, you know, you're, it's, it's very interesting when you think about it from an identity perspective, because it, it, it creates a bit of a crisis in people's minds. where like, okay, are people not going to like me anymore? Because I'm not the funny fat guy anymore. Are people not going to like me anymore? Because I don't smoke weed with all my friends anymore. Are people not going to like me anymore? Because I don't go out and drink and party like, like I did in the past. Are those friends going to abandon me now? Because I don't do the same things that they do. And like, these are the questions that people have. And it, largely stop stops them from making the changes that they need to make.